talk about tax system in Estonia with e-residency kit or tax system in Estonia for non-residents. Firstly, look how cute my e-residency kit looks like. It's got a flash card inside and a plastic card that I use when I need to reach governmental services in Estonia online. You might want to actually watch this episode next where I talk about basics of how to set up your company in Estonia, how to register your company in Estonia as a non-resident and how to undergo all of that online stuff with your e-residency kit and why in the world would you want to register your company in Estonia. So you might want to check out this episode after this one and let's go back to our today's topic and that is what is so special about paying your taxes in another country precisely in Estonia and yes if you want to pay your taxes in Estonia if you want to run your business there online you will need this e-residency kit and by the way I need to update it next year and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that with the war in Ukraine and most of the embassies out of the country. I guess I'll need to somehow cross the border to the nearest European Union country and to apply for updating my e-residency kit there, but let's solve the problems as they come in. Firstly, why would you want to choose Estonia as a country where you would run your business in? And the answer is simple, for tax reasons mostly and for the simplicity of running your business online because honestly Estonia is number one country in the world in regards to how easy it is to do everything online there. A bit of a history now. In 2014 Estonia has initiated the program called e-residency which offers a stable and reliable financial system which is well known for its low corruption index, transparent governmental policy and quite liberal tax system. All this in itself explains Estonia's ranking in top 20 countries in the world where it is the easiest to run your business. And now let's go back to what we are talking today about specifically and that is Estonia's tax system. Now Estonia taxation system is one of the most liberal in the world. The two most appealing features for any online entrepreneurs and for IT entrepreneurs specifically is zero corporate tax on reinvested profit and ability to register and to fully declare your taxes online. Now an Estonian company that is registered through e-residency is considered to be an Estonian taxpayer which is good for your business purposes, especially if you want a European Union based company. And zero corporate tax on reinvested profit means that you will only pay your taxes when you withdraw your profits from your corporate bank account. And if you don't do that, if you reinvest this profit into your business, into expanding your business, into whatever business needs you need to invest in, you don't pay any taxes on that. And you don't even have to reinvest your profit, you can just retain your profit, just not spend it and have it in your corporate bank account. And that also counts as the profit that is not taxable. As income tax is not assessed on profit earned every year, but monthly, there is no obligation to submit a tax return every year, regardless of profits or losses. The latter consequently cannot be carried forward or back. Another great thing of registering your company in Estonia and paying taxes in Estonia for your business entities is that an Estonian entrepreneur meaning that is a company or a solo proprietor, if you run your business like a one-person company, is not automatically treated as a person taxable for VAT purposes. Meaning that if your income is really low, if your profit is really low, you don't have to apply for VAT number and don't have to pay on a monthly basis that VAT tax. We ran our company for about three years until we had some staff who live in European Union countries, meaning that they have to pay this VAT thing 
and we had to register to apply for this VAT tax and now we pay this VAT tax on a monthly basis because we hire uh, contractors and employees in European Union. You don't necessarily have to have VAT number and for running your business, which is super great. And we had clients in European Union from uh, France, from Germany, from Luxembourg, who actually did have this VAT and us not having this VAT meant that they had to pay this VAT for us. So it means that you are not automatically regarded as a taxable person for VAT purposes. No, you don't necessarily have to do that. But there are conditions when you absolutely must apply for these VAT purposes and only a person whose taxable supplies, excluding imports, exceeded 40,000 euros in a calendar year is required to register for VAT. And the latter is charged on the supply of goods and services in the course of business activities and the self-supply of goods and services. This standard VAT rate is 20% and there is a reduced rate of 9% for certain items if you're selling, say, goods. Now, another great opportunity that Estonia provides to its non-residents is the possibility to pay your taxes online. You don't have to be present in Estonia. You don't have to go there on a monthly basis or on a yearly basis. I have never yet been to Estonia, I mean physically, in person, myself. You can file your taxes electronically. Actually, the report says that each year 95% of taxes in Estonia is reported electronically. And the system enables you to file enterprise declarations for income tax and request VAT returns, among others, which we actually did. So yes, you can even do that. You can even reduce your taxes this way. Another great thing is for Estonian companies is that you as a non-resident in Estonia can also choose a tax representative to whom the tax board issues a license to represent them for the performance of tax obligations in Estonia. And this is what we actually did. We have an accountant who lives in Estonia and she does provide all range of accounting services for us. She pays, um, she declares our VAT each month. She helps us with our annual reports and annual taxes and anything that relates to accounting in Estonia, we do with the help of that accountant. And there is a range of all sorts of companies, firms, individuals, individual accountants in Estonia who are both uh, English speaking and whatever language you need speaking and who can help you with this part, with the accounting part so that you don't actually even dive into this online world of uh, paying your taxes, even though this sim the system is pretty simple. But if you don't want to lose your time, you know, trying to figure out in those governmental sites how to file your uh, taxes and tax reports in the right way, you just hire someone who does that for you. Now, other taxes that one should bear in mind when running a business in Estonia, and that mostly relates to uh, running a product-based business, I mean physical products, and those are social tax, custom tax, and excise duties like unemployment insurance program, uh, environmental charges, taxes, payable in case of cross-border operations, and some other taxes, but it only relates to you if you run a business that deals with physical products that go inside and outside of Estonia. Not an issue for IT companies and for online businesses. You will absolutely have to apply for this e-residency because without it you won't be able to run your business in Estonia as a non-resident. E-residency does not mean that you gain any sort of electronic citizenship in Estonia uh, and does not grant you tax residency or the right for you to physically uh, leave or enter Estonia. It's a governmental issue, transnational digital identity that is available to every possible person in the world and it is actually aimed at digital nomads and IT entrepreneurs who just like to run their business without, you know, having to think much about their uh, operational stuff, taxes and so on. The e-residency program gives an e-resident smart digital ID card and this card enables e-residents to use Estonian governmental uh, websites and to sign documents online and exchange information 
encrypted documents. So you basically put it inside your flashcards and put it in your laptop and only then you will be able to uh, use Estonian online services. So again, doing business in Estonia is super easy. Taxes can also be declared online and are pretty low, like zero corporate tax on reinvested and retained profits is like super awesome. I don't know many countries who have this. Hope you enjoyed this rather tedious tax related stuff. If you did, smash the like button before you go and smash all the other buttons you find below because you might enjoy other content. And if you haven't watched my previous episode on how to register your company in Estonia, go and watch this episode next. See you there and stay safe.